Hello, my name is Pat Gillette, and I'm a counselor and a yoga teacher, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about healing with sound today. So there's lots of evidence that there is healing emotionally and sometimes even physically from using sound. One example is that they use sound vibrations to break up gallstones and kidney stones. But there's also a lot of evidence about music and various types of sound and sounding using our voice to heal emotionally. So today I'd like to take you through some exercises. And if you're finding them difficult, then go back and do my preparation for meditation video first. Do the yoga and the breathing exercise parts of that, and that will help you to relax and calm down. And you might be able to relax your jaw and do the other exercises more easily. But we'll start with some voice exercises. I learned these from a woman named Elizabeth Padden, who's a voice coach. And the first one is to open your mouth wide, make the back of your, your mouth, the, the top of your throat, really wide, as wide as the ocean. And try that again, just make it really, really wide. Great, and now let's add some sound to that. So add some sighs, some groans, any voice, any sound that wants to come out of your mouth. looks kind of funny and it sounds kind of funny, but it's actually really good for your voice. And the next part is to make horse lips. So the purpose of horse lips is to make sure that your jaw is relaxed. The sound is going to come better out of your mouth better if your jaw is relaxed. So horse lips are this. <laughs> If you're finding that difficulty, then just take a little time to massage your jaw. And you can actually also massage your jaw on the little bone underneath your, your ear. And just press one, two, three, four. Press down and then come out onto your cheek and press down. And the other side, press down here and press down. And massage your jaw. Good. So let's do that again. <laughs> I can't do it now. <laughs> Good. The other piece is to remember that, or to know that, when you do a high note, you don't lift your chin up. And when you do a low note, you don't tuck your chin down. You keep your chin level no matter what the note is. So now we're going to do horse lips and we're going to create a waterfall sound. So it's like this. So do that with me. And let's go back up the other way. Good. And now we're going to do some musical tones. I think it's do, mi, do. So it's going up a semitone with each point. Good. <laughs> so now what I'd like you to do is think about a traumatic event that you'd like to heal from or think about whatever emotion you're having right now. 
either way, it'll work. And then try to put a tone to that emotion. Try to imagine how it would sound if you really let that emotion out of your mouth. So it could be fear, which could be a scream. <coughs> or it could be, you can do it a lot louder than, louder than that if you want. Or it could be anger. <coughs> or it could be um, shame. <coughs> It could be sadness. Any sound that comes out of your mouth is the right one. Just let it come. Doesn't matter what it sounds like. Just let it out. So again, think about whatever the emotion is. If you want, feel how that is in your body as well. Where do you feel that emotion? Do you feel any tension or discomfort in your body when you have that emotion? Just notice that. and take deep breaths and just sound it out. I'm gonna mute myself while I sound out whatever emotions I'm having right now. Good. And it really helps to do diaphragm breathing when you're toning out your emotions. So when you take a deep breath in between each sound that you make, as you run out of breath, you're going to have to take another breath. So, so just see if you can expand your belly as you inhale, like you, your belly is a balloon that's filling up with air. And then exhale, let your belly fall. So doing that deep down breathing, not high up in your chest. That's not good breathing, <laughs> breathing deep down into your belly. So try that again. Sound the same tone or a different one. Notice whether it gets bigger or smaller or stays the same. Whatever happens is the right thing. Great. So ideally, it's good to keep toning the tone until the emotion goes away. Ideally, the, the emotion might get bigger at first because you're really feeling it. Usually it'll peak and then come down again. If it doesn't come down, then think about, is there something blocking me letting go of this emotion? So it could be fear. It could be it's not safe to let go of this emotion. I need my anxiety in order to work hard, or I need my anxiety in order to stay vigilant. Or it could be, I need my anger in order to protect myself, in order to fight for my rights. Or it could be shame. I don't deserve to let go of this emotion. I don't deserve to be peaceful. I don't deserve to be healthy and happy. It could also be anger. Of, I'm too angry to let go of this emotion. Um, if I don't, there could be something about that. Anyway, so try to focus on whatever the thought is or the feeling is that's blocking you to let go of the first feeling that you were trying to work on. And so now you're gonna work on the second feeling. It's not safe to let go of this anger or this fear or I'm too angry to let go of it, or I feel too ashamed, I don't deserve to let go of it. So now try that. <laughs> so I was working on, I don't deserve to let this go with this emotion. That's why I had all the, you know, crinkly brow and the <laughs> face. <laughs> so just let your face do whatever it needs to do. Let your sound do whatever it needs to do. Some people also find adding 
movement to it can help. Or <laughs> that's a good one for me. <laughs> so whatever you do is the right thing. Uh, try not to worry about being silly. <laughs> it's good to be silly. It's good to let it out. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.